here today to discuss this year's theme and where the future of AGU is headed. AGU CEO and Interim Executive Director Janice Lachance. Thanks for your time today. Thank you very much for having me. What does AGU's 2023 theme, Wide Open Science, mean to you? For me, Wide Open Science is a global effort to increase participation in science and access to scientific research for people and communities everywhere. And AGU is proud to be a leader in this effort. We open science through our publications, through our extensive work in community science, through policy engagement, and through meetings just like this one. AGU has brought together 25,000 people from nearly 100 countries here to San Francisco and online through our hybrid meeting capabilities to share research, to meet colleagues and make new friends, and to keep growing the ideals of open science together as a community. Open science practices are how we grow a bigger tent for the scientific community, and AGU is creating that culture of change. You can see it in our publications. So far, 12 of AGU's 24 journals are fully open access, including our newly launched journal on machine learning and computation, a field where equitable access to research is crucial to scientific advancements. You can see it in AGU's Thriving Earth Exchange, our community science initiative that is celebrating a decade of service this year. In those last 10 years, Thriving Earth has launched more than 250 projects around the world, creating partnerships to connect communities with scientists to address their community priorities. For example, we recently connected a scientist with a community in Corpus Christi, Texas, that was deeply concerned about the effect a nearby refinery was having on the soil and air in their neighborhoods. The scientist listened carefully to the community's concerns and created a fieldwork plan to test the soil in parks and community gardens to give the Corpus Christi community the best information to make decisions about their land and to work with policymakers to make needed changes. And researchers like this one now have a place to publish all of this important work. The Community Science Exchange is a fantastic partnership with several of our scientific society friends that features the Community Science Journal as well as a multimedia hub to share resources about doing the actual work about community science. Through all of these efforts, AGU continues to open science to make it accessible and equitable for all. We hope our community is as excited as we are to celebrate wide open science this year at AGU 23. What are some of AGU's biggest accomplishments in 2023? We are really proud of AGU's reach into the global community. Our Global Engagement Committee is outstanding. It's made up of passionate and committed members from every region of the world. They help us ensure that AGU is building partnerships and connections to extend the reach of our science in all of the places it's needed most. This year, our leadership has been invited to present at key scientific conferences from Vienna to Singapore, Panama City to Tokyo. Building these relationships and partnerships has been key to expanding the scientific reach of our members and their important work. AGU is also honored to have a delegation at COP28 this year just days ahead of our annual meeting. It was our third time as COP joining our colleagues at the Ocean Pavilion from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute and the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. It's at events like these where decisions are made that will have world-changing impact. Those decisions by our government leaders must be based on rigorous and ethical scientific research. And as the largest association of earth and space scientists, 
AGU has the world's leading experts in climate science research, and AGU journals are widely cited in IPCC and other climate reports. That, to me, makes it AGU's obligations for our science and our scientists to be represented at the table where these decisions are being made. And not only is the science itself important, but what's also important is creating good science. We've been very proud this year to present our work on the ethical framework for climate intervention research and experimentation and deployment. As climate change takes its toll on our communities, more and more people are turning to alternative solutions to address this impact. We believe strongly that any climate intervention research should be guided by an ethical framework. So we've convened a global committee of experts in climate science, human rights, policy, ethics, and technology to create a first draft of these principles informed by public comment. We've spent this year meeting with government leaders and communities around the world to discuss the ethical framework and we're so excited to build on this initial work. What is AGU doing to support the next generation of scientists? AGU's work really doesn't mean much unless we have the support and enable the next generation of scientists and leaders. AGU's Mentoring 365 program is one of our efforts that does just that. Mentoring 365 is a virtual platform that matches students and early career professionals with experts in the earth and space sciences anywhere in the world so that they can exchange ideas, create connections, and build a more inclusive community. We've also expanded our AGU Bridge Program Network, which develops inclusive practices for recruiting, admitting, and retaining students from historically marginalized identities in STEM graduate programs. Our first student recruited through the Bridge Program a few years ago graduated just this year. We know that this next generation of scientists are deeply committed to DEI principles, and we see them and hear them and are actively working together to create programs which power these issues. In fact, we are incredibly proud to have the very first cohort graduate this year from AGU's landing program, which stands for Leadership Academy and Network for Diversity and Inclusion in the Geosciences, our NSF-funded initiative to develop DEI champions. These champions took on year-long projects to advance DEI principles and actions within their own organizations, and they're here at AGU 23 to present the results of those projects. I hope all of you here in San Francisco find our landing graduates to congratulate them and learn something from the amazing work they've done. Janice, we certainly appreciate all your time today and all your work this past year. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It was great to talk with you and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you this week at AGU 23.